You too, Genda Sensei? What? Am I in the way? <laughs> of course not. I didn't know you still did field work. I figured if they could pull a fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Mamiya-san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa-sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. Looks like she got mixed up in all this when R.K. was chasing after Kawana. But we're still not sure why they chased him. To figure that out, we'll have to retrace Kawana's steps. Exactly. That said, let's start with the harassment charges, Mamiya-san. <sighs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Pout all you want, but keep the answers straight. Got it? <laughs> Ahara's assault was designed to establish a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. So Kawana had you play the victim, and together you pulled one over on the police and the court. Can you confirm if this is all accurate so far, please? Yeah, yeah. The person who groped you on the train wasn't Ahara's on himself. It was his stand-in. And my understanding is that he had conspirators to help him fabricate this event? That's right. What was Kawana doing at the time? Was he in Ijinsho or Tokyo? Didn't you hear your lady friend? A Harasan had a stand-in. And that stand-in was our sensei. You mean Kawana posed as Ahara himself? So this Ahara was actually Kawana. Huh. Sensei and Ehara-san have a pretty similar build. Not sure they could have pulled it off otherwise, you know? But some spots don't look right, like his mouth. You sure that's really Kawana-san? That part around his mouth is fake. He said he scanned Ehara-san's face and made it on a 3D printer. Oh, huh. You can print things in 3D now? Well, it's a machine that takes a model's data from a computer and prints physical objects using materials like resin. So if you were to scan a person's face onto a computer, a 3D printer could accurately recreate it. Hmm. I don't know the details, but that's what Sensei used to become a Harasan. Something like this? See, with a 3D printer, a piece of a face is pretty easy to make. What the hell? I see. His eyes are hidden behind the sunglasses, and the seams on his jaw are obscured by the mask. That's incredible, I must say. With the mouth area so visible, it's too convincing to think he's anybody else. And with the prosecution assuming he's just another sexual predator, they fell for it. This is no time to be impressed. In case you forgot, he had the defense fooled too. Aha! Uh, right. Assuming Kawana was Ahara's double, there's still some evidence I'm iffy about. I'm of the same opinion. Okay. Which evidence is questionable? This piece of the puzzle still needs an explanation. Is that... The police examined the trace evidence on Ahara's hands after he was caught. And from the analysis, the same fibers from Mamiya-san's undergarments were found on Ahara's hands. That's right. If the stand-in was the groper, Ahara-san wouldn't have touched Mamiya-san at all. But the evidence on Ahara-san's hands suggests otherwise. Rather strange, isn't it? I take it there was a trick to this, too? That simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ahara-san at the underground platform. That's when I had him touch the undergarment. After that, all I had to do was go to the bathroom and put them on. That's where the fibers in the trace were from. What the police found on Ahara's son's hands was exactly what we wanted them to find. And it would serve as hard proof he grabbed me. The cords really ate it up. It was hard not to laugh sometimes, to be honest. 
You're really starting to open up. That's the spirit. <laughs> Any thoughts after seeing this? Stop it. You're gonna look away? You aided and abetted by playing the victim, didn't you? I mean, yes. Who put this video up on the internet? Sensei did. He said from the start that once Ehara-san got his guilty verdict, he'd upload it to the internet. So that was all part of the plan. Yeah. Sensei can't forgive the law for how easy it lets off bullies. Ehara-san's the same way. His son's death was brushed aside. The court blamed his suicide on unknown factors. And that's what led them to his whole plan. The real victim is some bully who never got what he deserved, and the killer gets off in court by being convicted of battery. How would the public respond after finding out they'd gamed the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan was to make a mockery out of the justice system. Seems to be going well for them. The courts are beside themselves for dragging the police into this. I guess Ahara really was desperate. He was never concerned about his own punishment. He tarnished his own name to humiliate the law. Yeah, cop or not, Ahara is a broken man. Nobody took responsibility for his son's death. The courts all but ignored his case. No wonder he went along with Kawana. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Sensei and Ehara son are the perfect pair with nothing to lose. The only ones who do are the ones forced to comply. Us. Speaking of which, are we done here yet? How about this, then? And this is? Before the incident, Ahari used this card to go through the ticket gate at Ikebukuro, the time of which was recorded. Right, and it was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. Happy to help, Yagami-san. At the earliest, Mikoshiba's time of death would have been 7.30 a.m. If Ahara killed Mikoshiba in Ijinsho, he would have only had 13 minutes to get to Ikebukuro. And frankly, that's impossible. <laughs> that's what's dumping you? Huh? Sensei borrowed the card from Ehara's son beforehand and passed through the gate. Afterward, he slipped it back to Ehara's son when they switched places. That way, Ehara's son ended up having the time stamped card on him. Makes sense now? So even the entry time through the ticket gate was used as part of the alibi? It all seems so obvious now that I hear it. Nobody suspect that a groping was being used as an alibi for murder. Yeah. And on top of all that, no one knew Mikoshiba had been killed during the trial. They really pulled it off. Anything else? Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line, groping was a fabrication. At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. We'll reveal Ahara and Kuwana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Genda-sensei? Well, the previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do. If Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. Then we'll talk to him tomorrow. First, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. Will do. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest.
Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that Mamiya chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuana kill all those people. Aren't you gonna turn her in or something? I would. There's nothing we can do. Pfft, nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine, forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? You wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's help you need, I'll be there. I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless, so why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. 